Mm. My name is Ellis Hall, and they call me the ambassador of soul. How honored am I to be there? My mom tells me when I was about five years old, I was singing in the church, Yes, Jesus, love me! And mom would say, Shh, no, sh you can't sing that loud. Mm -mm. When I was about eight years old, I remember being out on the street corner with some of my friends singing some of the doo-wop stuff of the day. <laughs> And people were throwing things at us, and I thought at first they were mad until I realized there were money that they were throwing, and I had enough money to buy me some chips and soda and stuff. And Mom said, where'd you get all that money? I said, Mom, people threw it at me. Don't you lie to me, boy. Mm -hmm. 50 years professionally in the business, I never take it for granted. I realize every day we have a choice. Uh, to smile, to say how beautiful life is, or I'm feeling down, or woe is me, and this and that. You can change it. You have, you have the choice even when you think you don't. You, you know, there, there is no manual for parenting. I'm truly inspired by the fact that my mom and pops had the forethought to recognize, though I had this different ability, or as some might call it disability, uh, of blindness, they had the forethought to move from Georgia to Boston so that I could have my interdependence, so that I could rely on people if I, if I needed to, but really make my own way. You know, in the 50s, there was a hard road to hope Chances are, if I stayed on a path of just being in any kind of uh, pity party, I'd be selling pencils or, or uh, uh, ironically, uh, blind people got a lot of jobs working in dark rooms. <laughs> <laughs> They were very supportive, you know, because both my parents sang, not professionally, but very supportive, although my mom would say, son, I know you got to practice, but do you have to make all that fuss? And later when I formed the group and they came to see the concerts, they said, yeah, it was worth it, making all that fuss. <laughs> Honestly, whether they had supported me or not, it was a fire that burned within. I really became the poster, poster boy, poster child of PPD. What is PPD? Perseverance, persistence, and determination. Amen. All the sunshine of my life, Ellis in Wonderland. When I heard my voice on tape, I didn't like it. But I realized I just had to control it. And uh, the rest they say is history, because I say I have a big mouth, and hey, still learning how to use it. <laughs> so one of my first professional gigs, our bass player was missing. So I didn't really know how to play bass pedals on the organ, but we had 5,000 people that we couldn't let down. So I'm playing bass on the organ, I'm singing some lead stuff, and they gave us a standing ovation. So that let me know, okay, you're on this course. You stay on this course and keep going. I learned very early that I'm the vessel. So I better keep this and keep my voice in shape, keep my hands and feet in shape. Cause uh, get on the train and get out the way. I tell you, you hold it inside, you gonna hurt yourself. So that fire, it's respecting it, knowing not to misuse it, knowing not to phone in your part. I am no, no better or no worse than anyone on that stage. But if you're on stage with me, 
you better bring your A game. Because from that first note, E stands for explosion. It's always when people ask me if I have uh, uh, writer's block. For me, how can I have writer's block as long as I leave myself open to that thing that's inside that brings a lyric, that brings a melody, that brings a groove like E. <laughs> and I used to do that in high school and they say, what are you doing? I said, I got a drum set inside my mouth. I got to celebrate it. <laughs> it is two words. I learned very early, show or slash music business. If I'm focused on something I have to do, I'll get it done. I'm one who would get his homework done. He used to drive a lot of my friends crazy. Ellis, you got your homework done already? Yeah, so now I can do what I need to do or want to do. I say guitar is the cheapest therapy. Every time I'm writing, every time I'm performing, how can I make that audience sing along with you and be the choir? That's the fun. I met, which I later got to call him Papa Ray, at a function for this local music store. So in the middle of my solo, we jump off the stage, go over and meet him, and I gave him a CD, gave him a hug and stuff. He called me the next day and said, who in the hoof are you? He said, I want to sign you up, and he was serious. So I signed, I was the only artist besides himself to sign to Crossover Records. I know how blessed I am to know I have this gift and that I am the vessel for it, but also uh, the wherewithal to celebrate what I desire to do with my life. That's why I'm